Claps. I've just been having double thoughts of arranging my the other ones or like my skincare stuff and my body stuff in this wardrobe because first things first, it's a bit small and I'm expecting my dressing mirror and my wardrobe. I've just been thinking if I should arrange it here or just wait till the mirror comes but then I feel if I should wait there'll be like a lot of things just lingering around in the room so i'm just trying to um see if i can just do something over here and then just wait till, like the dressing mirror and cupboard comes so i will just take off this um skincare things i have here and then just arrange them but yeah this is like the wardrobe i have right now and i can do it at the moment i'm super sorry guys hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm just <laughs> lost i'm telling you guys like everything i'm feeling right now but yeah welcome back to my channel this is Pete mike an abuja youtuber if it's the first time here you highly highly welcome but yeah i just moved into my space just finished my internship and i left the hospital's lodge so and like lots of things happened that i will tell you guys later but like yeah i'm just like i said trying to just arrange all of this and there's a mic attached to me because i am trying to block all the noise from outside i also told you guys about this mic in my last vlog so see the vlog and the link where i got it from is also there it is really really nice the room is still in progress i would definitely make a room tour when i'm done okay but for now this is what we have just in case you hear the heating sound in this vlog i'm super sorry construction is still going on these are like the empties i have and i basically took them from my hospital lodge down here because i haven't made reviews on them i cannot just show away skincare things i use without making reviews but yeah i'm going to make reviews on them super soon and probably discard them so i asked you guys in my last vlog if you wanted a detailed video of like how the internship thing went how i got my internship space and like how being a nursing intern in nigeria for one year was for me if you also want that please let me know at the comment section down below and i would definitely drop a video also got this really cute set of lashes from alias first i think this is a bit longer than the other one and guys we're expecting a room tour i am definitely going to drop a room tour when i am done with like everything of the room but in this vlog you're still sure going to be seeing me putting one or two things maybe not in like maybe not everything on this vlog but if anything comes i will just show you guys but i will definitely drop a room tour after the room is complete <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, this is not bad. It's fine, Abby. Yeah, so I hear you. So that, yeah, honestly, nobody. <laughs> anyway. Initially, I wanted a plain um, white cutting, just like the inner. But then it was not the guy that wanted to make the cutting said it's not going to be nice. So I just asked him so he asked me to do something like this and then i don't know when because it came i just felt awkward it just felt a bit off to me but then i was not thinking if i should go if, if i should have gone for like black and white but then now i think i'm liking the vibe what do you guys think i like it i love it I got my 
she work last night but then i just noticed that it was too wide so the carpenter guy is here he's just going to help me this is like a bit and probably bring the back tomorrow or something so when it's back i'm going to let you guys know my cupboard also came yesterday although it has not been cleaned and the mirror is not here yet yes yeah, so that's the update for now i've been stressed and i'll see you guys later Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I want to like Yeah, I want to like Yeah, I want to like Mm, let me just give you guys a rundown of everything that happened today was really stressful i also went out with my sister to get a couple of things i got this um hair conditioner this is what i use i use a hair conditioner i mix it in a spray bottle this is my spray bottle and water i shake and then i spray that's like everything i do we went to a hair store i don't know if i mentioned i also got a hair mousse my just got finished i don't know if this thing usually finish or the spray cap just get bad because the other one when i shake it i see here something inside but then the spray does not work anymore so but yeah i got this i also use this for my coily hair now after you're done spraying your coily hair you're just going to apply your hair mousse on your hair i got this um spirit or oh, what they call it designing and holding spirit just in case when i want to pack my hair and i want to do this packing gel style this also works and it helps to just make everything hold it's got to be spray char cap wig cap scissors i think i'm just trying to take my hair life to another level <laughs> or basically i'm just trying to um, learn to style my hair myself and just have these basic things so yeah and um, that's that for today but before we before we go let me just share with you. this service was just a bomb just something i wish that i could just give you guys the um audio i learned about prayer and how much prayer can do for one's life okay and he i've forgotten the verse in the bible but then it was the verse when jesus was praying and then his face was altered his garment was changed to white and was glittering and this happened after jesus prayed and i just really wish i could explain this as much as they did in church today but we were just talking of how powerful prayer can do for someone like there is nothing prayer cannot change you see that character you are we are always saying i'm just like that this is the way i am made prayer can change things like that okay prayer can change literally anything and this just made me realize that lately i don't think i've been praying as much as i should i don't think i've been praying as much as i should and the funny thing is that i think on saturday i was telling my sister what happened i think it was on friday my lamb woke me up to pray at night it was raining and I just said, oh, it's raining. Let me just go back to bed. And I went back to bed and I woke up that day regretting because something happened that I knew that if I was awake that night, that thing would not have happened. Let me just share. Okay, what happened was my laptop was on my bed. It was raining. My window was open. So just the next I was closed and it was raining. Now, that way made me to go back to bed. But if I was awake and I prayed, I would have noticed that the rain was entering 
through the window and then it stained my bed my laptop was on the bed and the rain literally fell on my laptop and my laptop got wet so it was not turning on okay and all of those things and apart from that i just noticed that lately i have not been praying as much as i as i should and this one was just like a reminder or like a confirmation that purity if you are sleeping you better wake up and this is just me telling each and everyone of you watching if you are sleeping you should wake up and there are lots of things that we do not know but prayer is actually going to do and then he also talked about it about the fact that okay we might be praying today about a particular thing and that thing will not be answered today it will be answered years later but you have prayed about that thing do you get i don't know if you have ever had a um how do they call this now a prophecy that okay this is going to happen and then it does not happen that time the prophecy comes it happened like some other time you get but you prayed about this thing this thing you prayed about it you heard it and you started praying about it and then it happened so when you pray about some particular thing and it does not happen that time that does not mean that does not mean that that prayer would not be answered okay like there were just so many things today said about prayer let me bring my book quickly for you guys prayer brings preservation of life and destiny now i people are going to be like and eh, nothing is fighting you if you're not fighting something but then there are some times you just feel that everything you get is a struggle you struggle for like everything you get why you know that things can happen with favor you don't really have to struggle god said that we will abide under his shadow okay now if you are on abiding under a shadow of something now this is god and then his shadow is falling on this side of my hand okay now you are here now you are this card and you are here now this is god you are abiding, you are abiding under his shadow now you see that nothing can come to you if it does not come true good now this is the almighty there is no man or woman no matter how mighty he is because this is the almighty and you are abiding under his shadow okay now nothing can harm you now prayer brings about you about the preservation of your life and of your destiny now no power no principality no situation can can alter you no nothing can destruct you because the almighty has overshadowed you okay so literally nothing can alter your destiny or your life nothing can kill you without killing god do you understand and is there anything that can kill god is there no so i just today was just really wonderful and yeah this is me sharing and this is me saying good night because i need to rest tomorrow i'll probably be dedicated to arranging this place okay um yeah um, a couple of things are going to come um i should change this tv also but the other one is not here i'm also thinking of just making like a very simple wood underneath the tv and um yeah hi hi girls good morning um So hi guys, good morning. Um, today is Monday, and I'm starting my morning off by arranging this room. Finally, I don't know if I told you guys, but I just remembered my airport come missing in this house. Not like I, I misplaced it too. It come missing in this house. People came to work, and I forgot my airport in the room they were working in, and then that was it. And the funny thing is that when I started looking for it, I called my brother, he wasn't around. I asked him if, because he was there when they were working, and I asked him if he saw the airport. And I told him that, yeah, he saw it on the floor of that room when the, when the guys were working in. And I looked for it, and I could not find it. I tried tracking it with my phone to find my app stuff. I did, and I just noticed that it was not in the house anymore. It was just still in our area council. So not in the house. You cannot really see the direct location. We are defined my app. I don't know if you can actually do see the direct location. If you can't, you just let me know the comment section. Okay, but then I tried and you could see the airport. And the airport was last used by 8 p.m. that day or 8 45 p.m. that day. And I started looking for it like around past six or so. So 
I'm not going to show you the airport that I ate. And my brother called them. Called you guys because he was one with the guys' number. And he said, I've not seen anything like that. I actually told them that, please, they should just come out and just listen. And the funny thing is that, okay, one of the guys there is the person that made my bed. And then one of the guys there is the one we know. So um, we wanted him to help us do something and he could not do it by himself. That's why he bought two of his friends. And I'm sure one of those friends he bought is the person that took his tickets. And I literally threatened them for the police in just for them to see if they can just they're nothing. They did not they did not give it to me. <laughs> it was really sad because it's not like it's something that I misplaced. You get I did not go out and just misplace it. It was in the house and then it got missing. It was just sad. And then that this happened like I think a week ago or so and I recently just tried using my app to just see if the thing is still there. And I noticed that I don't know if it has been disconnected or what or it's no longer showing in my find my app up but yeah it's a, it's a sad one it's a sad one <laughs> let's clean up let's just try and arrange this room is a mess my bed is a mess everywhere is pretty pretty messed up so i could just try and clean up and yeah and i joined tiktok again i was on tiktok but i left tiktok because the phone i was using then was an iphone 6 iphone 6x i think and then the gig was i think about the 30 something gig and i just started youtube and then there was no space i used my phone to create i was doing youtube i was doing tiktok there was no space i had to delete apps and i deleted my tiktok even though i was so good in doing tiktok but then recently my brother said ah it's fine you know on tiktok and i'm like okay there's enough space on this phone let me download it back and i just did i'm thinking of making a tiktok video with my brother today oh um, more papa <laughs> but yeah so i'm just going to clean up real fast and this black um discoloration on my face so i tried using the kojic acid soap i applied it on my face i started washing my body and before i could finish washing my body and this is my face was hot already i had to wash it out and after that i noticed that this part was really hot the next day i noticed that this part of my face was dark so i think it literally burnt my face and i was um going to google just checking for how to clear um soap bun and i saw that thing that's why i just finished applying and I always forget, yeah, hopefully it clears. If it does, I'll let you guys know, okay? I got a couple of things. The harsh one is for my clothes, and then the lemon or whatever color that is is for my it's for wasting. So I'm thinking of going to spray the black pen since we are doing the black and white aesthetics. So I'm going to go and spray right now. Where is that pen? Okay. 
But yeah, we're going to spray this outside and let's go. Cool.